do is go straight to the question of Batman. There seems to be a lot of talk about the character and a lot going on about this at this very moment. It's a shame that I wasn't online much, so I got caught up in the middle of it halfway through, but now I'm up to speed. Uh, but the interesting thing about the character, and I want to explain to everybody about this thing. You know, when we introduced Batwoman back in 2006, um, we took a huge risk in DC, in DC Comics at the time, DC Comics. We went and did something unprecedented. We made one of our major characters gay. Uh, it was something we thought about, something we considered, and we went very heavily to do this, and we were very committed to doing that. And when we did it, we knew there would be controversy and complaints, and there were. We got hit with so many different letters and so many nasty emails and all that, but we stood our boss and we stood behind that character 100%. So much so that we made her the lead in Detective Comics, and then we gave her her own book. And that was back in 2006, and we continue to support that character to this day. Simple as that. And when I went out and spoke about Batwoman the first time that we did it, we made it very clear what we wanted to do is make a hero first, and then make the character gay as part of who she is, part of her personality, part of what makes her a hero. It's several apart from the different other members of the Bat family, but she was clearly a member of the Bat family. And when we went out with the New 52, and even before the New 52, we had one very clear idea in our minds with the Bat family group. They shouldn't have happy personal lives. They shouldn't. They put on a cake and a cow for a reason. They're committed to being that person. They're committed to defending others at the sacrifice of all their own personal instincts. And for me, that's a very important statement to make. And that's something that we reinforce, because if you look at every one of the characters in the Batman family, their personal lives kind of suck. Bruce Wayne, Dick Grayson, God rest his soul. Um, <laughs> oops, I shouldn't have said that, should uh, <laughs> Now I got the Nightwing people pissing me again. <laughs> but Tim Drake, Barbara Gordon, and Kathy Kane. It's wonderful that they try to establish personal lives, but it's also just as equally important that they put it aside because they know what they're accomplishing as the hero takes precedence over everything else. That is our that is our mandate, that is our edict, that is our stand with our characters. We reinforce this with every single of the books, with every single one of the writers. You wonder what editors do? That's their job. I stand behind that 100%, I stand behind our choices 100%, and I stand behind Batwoman and Kathy Kane 100%. Name one other publisher that committed to a character of that fashion out there. Name one. There isn't. We put her in the book that was, the company was named after. And we have her own series, and this series will continue, and it'll be better than ever. We have a new writer come on board. His name is Mark Andreco. Maybe you're familiar with his work. He's done things like Manhunter, he's just written Black Lightning and Blue Devil. One of my personal guys is one of my, one of my good friends also doing this book, and I couldn't be happier with it. He's so excited about taking on the series, so much so that we're putting him on the book, starting with issue number 25. Batwoman is going to become an integral part of Batman's universe, just the way we always wanted it. She'll be starting with the Year Zero storyline, and from there, she'll be an important part, as she always is, with the Batman family and the rest of the DC universe. So, that's that. Okay? Now, without any further ado, let me turn it over to my staff.